How you doing, YouTube? It's Wolf Miller Veltman. This is my 460th weekly update. Boy, I think it's my first update in like three weeks, and the first update of 2024. I don't even remember what the last update I did was. It's been a while, and uh, I have minor good reason. I'm still going to try to keep it short and sweet. I say that a lot, even though usually it isn't very short and sweet. A lot of times I ramble on, but... Uh, I got back from OSG and then essentially had like six days to sort of recover from that and then went on a trip to, no, that's not true. That was the following week. I don't remember what I did that next weekend, but I had something going on then. And when I got back, I started to feel, I felt fine. Uh, I think in, during that time, I only trained, like, two days, maybe, if you can even call that training. We'll call it working out, honestly. And then... Took a trip up north, long drive, 20 hours both ways. And when I got back, I started feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, in the time, that was Christmas... In that time, I had maybe six hours where I had, like, body aches and stuff like that. But then I just started coughing all the time, uh, just runny nose, mucus, just all the time. Uh, to the point where it got really hard to sleep because I was just coughing all the time. Let's see, got back from up north, went, uh, just started to kind of feel better. I want to say, like, that Wednesday. I got back on a Monday. I think that Wednesday was, like, the worst day for me. Uh, just coughing. Barely got any sleep. Thursday and Friday started to feel a little bit better because I could finally actually get a little sleep. Didn't do any training. I was a little nervous. I didn't want to get anybody sick at the gym. And then went to Tallahassee which is in North Florida, about four hours from where I am. Went up there for a New Year's thing and uh, ended up basically uh, getting a little bit of sleep the first night and then essentially no sleep uh, after New Year's. I um, just kept coughing and coughing and nothing could stop and I just... Said so screw it. Eventually, and just drove back on no sleep because it was just like there's no point. <laughs> As you can tell, I still have a little bit of the cough, and some of it's still coming out of me. Um, I go through waves throughout the day, where uh, a lot of times I'll wake up in the morning and I feel like I get a little lump here, and then I cough it out, blow my nose, and I'm good for like a, a number of hours, have another fit, and then usually by the end of the day. I'm back to just this, where I sound just a little stuffy and have a little bit of a cough. But that week of New Year's, basically no training there either. And now this week uh, is the first week I've actually been back and training consistently. Made it all the days of the week. Uh, I got in on Thursday and Friday of last week. And then this week I have hit every single day and actually been getting some decent training in. <coughs> it's, it's still there and it sucks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, two out of ten, man. Do not recommend getting whatever I got. Again, it, it's like my body was fine. No brain fog, really. Didn't even feel sick, necessarily. It's just like not being able to get more than like three hours of sleep over the course of three days it just takes its toll and it just makes it just really hard to do anything else other than like work which i've had a little bit of work lately so that's been <clears throat> good in occupying my time but luckily the last week or so i've been able to sleep through the night which has been ju just absolutely lovely I and mean, you, you don't know how much you miss something so simple as just sleeping through the night until it gets taken away from you. So I've been very happy to get those sorts of nights back. <laughs> Still got a little bit in there. 
I'm just assuming over the course of the next few weeks it'll go away, and then uh, hopefully I'll be done with any sort of illnesses for the foreseeable future. Um, I think I just ran myself ragged, you know. I kind of sat down one time and realized, like, it was actually when I went back to the gym, somebody asked me, because they were like, oh, man, you're going up to Tallahassee that week? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, when's the last time you had a weekend off? And I was just like, uh... I thought about it. It was, like, basically since September of last year until, like, two weekends ago. Maybe last weekend. I have it somewhere or something to do somewhere to be or something to do every single weekend and it has been just exhausting i just ran myself dry you know what i mean but the exciting news is i have a show picked out that i want to do it will be my first out of state show my training partner has a show in texas that he really wants to do and uh it looks like fun they have a fingers finger which i've never done and they have a max silver dollar deadlift, which I have done before, and I regret stopping at like 750 pounds, I think is what I did that day. I honestly feel like I've gotten stronger since my last attempt at a silver dollar max. And the way I was feeling that day, you know, maybe it was just hubris, but I really feel like I could have done like 900 that day. Because 750 didn't even feel heavy. And I feel like even 50 more pounds, like something like 800, still wouldn't have felt heavy. So I'd like to get my revenge on that lift. I would actually like to um, potentially fail my third lift uh, is what I'd really like to do. I would like to do that. I think that'd be a lot of fun um, to actually go to a max on that lift and just leave it all out there. And the number I have in my head is like 900. <laughs> which is super ambitious. Um, but just remembering back on when I did it in the past, 750 felt like nothing. And I know 800 would have felt like nothing too. Um, so I would love to... I'd basically love to open at like 750. And then... pull 800 just to prove I can. And then... Uh, and then see what see what happens you know or maybe even you know maybe i'll pull 750 and warm ups and then pull 800 and do 800 850 and the nine um i think that'd be really cool to do and uh yeah so i've been training some sort of 18 inch deadlifts it's kind of hard to train um silver dollar deadlifts are a little bit weird uh a lot of times especially when you're as tall as me which is not that tall um you know you pull the bar and it bends so much that it's already over your knees and then excuse me you're just sliding it up your thighs which is basically the strongest part of my deadlift so i really feel like i got a good shot at doing a pretty just goofy number on that lift so i'm really looking forward to getting my redemption on that lift and uh so i've been training that they have a viking press too uh we have a decent enough setup at the gym to train that um i've already done a little over comp weight and not failed it so i just want to do some more work i'd like to be in the double digits on it um because i figure if i can do double digits in training you know and i'm already hitting comp weight for me once once my overhead finally gets to a, a place that's respectable um you know, life will be a little different in, in competition, but right now the way I look at it is if I can manage to not zero the press, I can probably get to the podium. Because most of the shows that I've done, if I had just not zeroed the press, I would have placed at least one or two points higher uh, than I did at those shows. So I'm going to work really hard on my overhead this year. It's uh, my biggest weakness by far. And then just uh, focus on getting stronger and everything else, too. And uh, I feel good. I feel pretty motivated for it. Still have to sign up for the show, but, you know, got a couple expenses here and there. It's not till July, which is good because I have about, uh, I want to lose about 10 ish pounds, like actual pounds, before that time. Um, and again, it's like six months from now, so that's a super, super doable goal. And, uh,. Yeah. 
it's good to be back. It's good to have a goal. And uh, hopefully I won't be such a stranger on here. So yeah, um, every once in a while, uh, you know, sign up for a show. Go test yourself and uh, get your redemption. And if you don't, then what's your excuse? <laughs>